Matt Fincham loves that track, Birthday Boy Matt Fincham. Basement Jack's Raindrops, Carrie's birthday today on the show, big birthday celebration. 9.23, good morning, it's the Chris Moore Show on BBC Radio 1. Uh, I have some news which may be of interest to certain members of the Chris Moore Show team, uh, including Rachel and Dave. Is, mm-hmm. it, is it to do with Strictly Come Dancing? It's the news that it's finally happened uh, yesterday, late in the afternoon. I received my official invitation to be part of Strictly Come Dancing. Oh! Go do it! Oh, go on! I'm bored of this now. <laughs> Don't forget the alternative, Afghanistan. No, it's not an alternative. And they he are said two yes. Separate things. <laughs> and uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I've said this before. The audience don't want me to do it. They do? No. Certain people text in saying do it, but they're not the vast majority Mm. of our listeners. Can we set another vote up? No. (laughs) Not at all. So, uh, yeah, the invitation came in. Well, would I be interested in doing it was the the request. (laughs) Would you ever? And they uh, they don't sell it well at all. It's uh, one of the biggest shows on television. It's a worldwide phenomena, and it regularly pulls in 11 million viewers every week. Mm. Uh, however, the training schedule and the workload is ridiculously. Would you uh, get to do hard. the tour afterwards? Well, judging That'd by judging fun. by how much money they're offering me to do the TV show, I don't think I'd be doing the tour. I think you'd get more for the tour, actually. You'd lose weight. So, uh, here's the here's an insider's view into Strictly Come Dancing. Bearing in mind, this is just, would Chris be interested in doing it? It would revolve around uh, the end of August, starting to do some press and whatnot, mm-hmm. and then training would start, uh, end of August, early September, mm-hmm. 12 hours of training a week. Oh, wow. And the show will start kind of mid to end of September and runs all the way through to just before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Uh, 12 hours a week of rehearsals plus a day of filming on Friday and all day Saturday for rehearsal before Saturday night doing the show. And how many tickets do you get in your allocation? I didn't ask for that, Rachel. <laughs> well, that's important. We have mums to think about. Yeah. We're friends and family and colleagues. I told you. We have photos of Vernon K. drunk from the Christmas do. Just, you know, threaten him. He'll get tickets through Tess. Me and my mum and your mum, Dave, we could all make a banner. Yeah. Go, Chris. Go, Chris. Quite happily yeah. come and support you every week. Well, you don't need to say go because I am not going. <sighs> Are you really not? Yes. Have you I mean, ruled it out? I've already, how many times have I said it? Hey, look at this. James Clark, Nottingham. Don't do it, Chris. Look at that. Why would you say that, James? Don't do it, Chris. Yeah, Chris, do it, says Tanya no, you on just the made text. It he's made it. Don't do it, Chris. You're worth more than that. You've no. still got something to live for, says Lewis in Do it, do it, do it, says <laughs> Helen in Cambridge. Visual... Please do it, Carly in Deal in Kent. <laughs> on the visual console, Julia in York says, you need to do it. You'll surely win. You'd get my vote. Well, whatever. It's not happening. Sorry to break the news to you. Well, think, certainly, certainly not for what they're offering. Anyway. I think you should think about it. It's, it's not worth it. Oh, so is, is this money? I'd make more so money. They, I'd make more money bus- busking. JC in Northumbria says, do it, it'll be brilliant. No way. Listen, if you don't do it, I'll do it. Then you can do it, oh, Dave. I'll yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Now that's something I can dance to. Dancing the Fox. Please welcome Comedy Dave and his partner, Mahuka Lamuda. I'm very pleased with Dave's dancing. He's a true professional and I love being with him. Seven viewers when Dave starts doing the show. So Lee anyway, says, don't do it, you still have a career. Exactly, damn Good right. See, by the way, speaking of Dave, Dave had a big moment last night on Radio mm. 1, um, but more importantly, so did his wife, Jane. It is true. Smlarge, which is her favourite uh, size of measure drink. The wine, Jane, I'll have a smlarge, please. <laughs> the Beastie Boys were in with Zane Lowe. Uh, Jane, Dave's wife, loves the Beastie Boys. And so Dave thought it'd be a hoot. 
to go and buy a cheap card from the garage mm -hmm. and uh, ask saying if you could ask the Beastie Boys to just sign it to Jane, love the Beastie Boys. You know the card that they sell in the news agents there with the two white horses running a a along the beach? Is that what it was? Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. So Dave thought, well, you never know if Zane gets time during a record, he might ask them, he might run out of time, they might not do it. Anyway, Zane asked them on the air and this is what happened last night. Zane team, my missus is a massive Beasties fan. <sighs> I know it will be difficult. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> if, there is, if there is a no, I must get this all the time. Is what I'm saying. If there is a chance to get something signed for her, I would hugely appreciate it. You've heard this a lot of times, right? But this is where it gets good. No problems if not, if not. But I promised I'd try. Many thanks, Dave Vitti. Dave Vitti goes by the name. His his lunch name is Comedy Dave. Right. That's a lunch. That's his name? title. You should, you should see him eat lunch. All right. His name is Comedy Dave, right? And he works for the the, the Radio One Breakfast Show with Chris Moyles. Big show. It's where oh. it all starts in Radio Land. I have to time. tell you. It's where the audience begins. This is for his wife. She wants you to sign this. What are you thinking? You're thinking like maybe old school press shot, maybe an album. It's a picture of two white horses running along the beach. Oh. And uh, That's I think very it's sweet. nice. That's I think it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. From the Elephant House collection. That and, is uh, going to be the album cover for Hot Sauce camera. Committee Part wow. 2, you know actually. What? I'm hot actually, oil, hot oil committee. Yeah. I'm going uh, to draw a third horse yeah. on there, and then I think oh. it'll be more, mm. you I don't know, think you more can... of a metaphor for <laughs> us. Nice. You know, I think of that photo when you say things like that. Thank you. With the sly smile. Let me, you got a sharpie or something? Is, I don't think that pen's really going to draw a horse on there. <laughs> we might be able to sort out a sharpie and get you to customize the two-horse photo from the from the elephant horse collection. <laughs> it was an inspiring piece of broadcasting last mm, night. Yeah. Not only heard by people, but also seen by people on the uh, web because they do the live streaming as well. Mm. So people would have been able to see the card. How odd. So um, do you have the card? Uh, the card is upstairs. I should have wrote that down for this bit. That would have been crucial, wouldn't it? I, I kind of it's thought that might have been upstairs, the payer. It's upstairs on my desk. Oh, okay. i tell you what, Matt can get it and I'll share after the news. Okay. I've never heard the Beastie Boys discussing horses before. Or Sharpies. No. So there you are. There you have it. Well, as I say, it, it wasn't... I didn't expect it to go like that. I just thought that maybe they'd get something signed yeah. while they were in. And, and they might even use the horse card for an album, album cover. cover. You see? Isn't Zane you a nice ins man? You've inspired the Beastie Boys. Anyway, thank you so much to Zane Lowe and Team Lowe for doing that. Weirdly, we got a request from uh, Zane's producer saying, uh, is there any chance that... Uh, that we could get Matt Fincham to sign a card for Zane Lowe's wife because yeah. she's a massive fan. <laughs> Obviously, I made that up. That's not true. It's a lie. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio 1. It's 9.30. Relations between Iran and the West get worse. And Murray gets the job done at Wimbledon.